Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys what I'm working on right now. Um, so here I have my um, blueprint that I drew up, and I have a half sketch of the profile that I probably could have developed a little bit more, but I just have the basic necessities of what I need. But generally what you do is you draw a full-size version of the um, the doll that you're going to make, just so you can see how it works, the joints, how the um, proportions are going to be, and then you use this as a reference for the, um, like while you're sculpting, you can look back and um, compare your doll to the original bl blueprint and see if it matches up and everything like that. So I started with that, um, just the basic outline I drew in pencil, then I did, the red bits are the, um, are the hollow spaces that are going to be inside the doll, and then the blue is the actual stringing, just to make sure everything was balanced and even. Then what I did is, I have wire, I made a wire armature, which I then covered in, um, paper towel and masking tape to bulk it up a little bit, and, um, I just put it on top of the blueprint just to make sure that I left at least a five millimeter gap around the entire thing so that the clay doesn't wear too thin in certain places. Um, they say five millimeters is good. I would suggest you go six to seven to eight even. Um, you might use a little bit more clay, but it's better than having to fix it later because it's a real big pain, and that's something that I learned doing my other ones. Um, so yeah, now that I have the armature done, and this is what it looks like, there's a side view. Um, now that I have this done, I can cover it in the first layer of clay, which I will get to in a minute.